Buongiorno, ciao ragazzi, come stai? Tutto bene? Hello, hope everyone's well today. Um, I said that I would record the answers for the task that was put up earlier in the week. So this is the worksheet and I'll just run through very quickly what you should have had. So if you get your work ready, you can see how you got on and then feel free to send your marks in to me if you've marked it yourself. Okay, so using the clocks that you can see on the screen, you had the hours on the left hand clock, the minutes on the right hand one. Number one, sono le 8 e 20, 8.20. Numero due, sono le 5 e un quarto, is 5.15. Numero tre, sono le 3 e mezza, that is 3.30. Quattro, sono le 2 meno 10, that is 2 minus 10, so that's 1.50, 10 to 2. Numero 5 sono le 9 meno 20, that's 9 minus 20, okay, so 8.40 would be your digital time. Numero 6 sono le 3 e 25, it's 3.25. Numero 7 e mezzanotte, that's midnight. Numero 8 e luna e 5, that's 1.05. Numero 9, mezzogiorno, is midday. Numero 10 sono le 11 meno 25, that's 11 minus 25, so in digital time that would be 10.35, ok? Esercizio B, accoppia gli orologi con le frasi. So here you had to pair up the clocks with the phrases that were underneath, ok? So numero 1, 5 o'clock, this one you're looking for the phrase which is sono le 5, so that would be this one here. Numero 2, 11.15, so that would be sono le 11 e un quarto, so that is this one here, the second one. 3.30 would be sono le 3 e mezza, so that's this one here, that one should have number 3. Numero 4, it's got a sunshine, so it's midday that you're looking for, so a mezzogiorno. Number 5 is midnight, mezzanotte. Numero 6, 2.45, so you're looking for the phrase which says 3 minus a quarter. So here, sono le 3 meno un quarto. After that, 1.15, so sono uh, e luna e un quarto. This one. 4.15, sono le 4 e un quarto. There. Number 9, 3.45, so you're looking for the phrase which is 4 minus a quarter. So sono le quattro meno un quarto, is that one there? And finally, 2.30, sono le due e mezza, which is there. Ok, va bene. Continuiamo, esercizio C, scrivi l'ora, write the time. So you're having to fill in the time here where there was a gap. Numero uno, sono le nove. For nine o'clock. Numero due sono le tre e un quarto. Quarto meaning quarter. You could have gone for quindici if there wasn't already the word un there. So it has to be quarto. Numero tre sono le otto e mezza. Alternatively, otto e trenta. Quattro sono le undici e dieci. Numero cinque sono le nove meno un quarto. So nine minus a quarter, nove meno un quarto. One twenty is e luna e venti. Numero sette sono le sei meno dieci. So six minus ten would give you five fifty. Numero otto sono le nove e venti. So nine twenty. Numero nove sono le due e venticinque. E numero 10 è luna meno, and then in fact there's actually a mistake there, sorry about that, it shouldn't have the word un, it should just be meno 20, okay, so è luna meno 20, meaning it's 1 minus 20, so apologies for that, there shouldn't be the word un there. Esercizio D, completa gli orologi e scrivi l'ora, here um, I can't give you any answers because it completely depends on what time you draw on the clock and what you've put underneath. So hopefully you'll be able to check that for yourself and see whether or not you think it's looking okay. For the opening times, okay, so asking when a place is open, 
these phrases you had to write questions and answers okay questions and answers like the example so you should have started each phrase with a che ora apre like this so a che ora apre la banca a che ora apre il supermercato okay all the way down to a che ora apre l'ufficio turistico so the question you are literally changing this word here la scuola okay for your answer your place needed to be at the beginning so like la banca here would be your first phrase then you needed the word apre which means open so la banca apre then the time which in this case was alle nove okay so I'll just give the answers for each of these because the questions were fairly straightforward. Allora, numero due, il supermercato apre alle otto e mezza. Numero tre, il centro sportivo apre alle dieci e un quarto. Quattro, il ristorante apre alle sette. Cinque, il duomo apre alle quattro meno un quarto. Sei, il museo apre alle due e venti. Sette, il teatro apre alle sette meno un quarto. Otto, il castello apre alle undici e dieci. Numero nove, l'ufficio postale apre alle sette. Numero dieci, l'ufficio turistico apre a mezzogiorno. Ok, so remember with midday you don't need to say alle, it's just a. So for a, it's midday, a mezzogiorno. Okay, if you went on to this section, the top part here just was vocab, so it gave you some words that we hadn't practiced before. Things like l'aeroporto, l'albergo, um, looking further down, i pompieri for the fire station. And you had to basically do the task here, which was um, asking you to put places in categories according to which are in the centre and which are in the outskirts of your town. So it gave you these words here. If you didn't know what they were, you could have found them in this grid at the top. But very quickly, to run through, l'aeroporto is the airport, then the castle, the library, the sports centre, the cemetery, the factory, the town hall, the museum, the square, the pool, the theatre, the fire station, and the tourist information office. And obviously, depending on your town, you will have put these in different places to where I might have put them. But if you wanted them to be in the centre, then they should have gone here, il centro. This is the word that means outskirts, la periferia. Okay, so that was what you had to do for that task. The next one was another classifying group. Okay, um, this one here, if you couldn't work it out by the pictures, it was places where you would go um, and do activities or relax. This one was to do with law and order. So things like police station, for example, would have gone there. Then transport. So things to do with transport, religious places, and finally cultural or artistic places. So you might have put um, il teatro, the theatre, or la galleria in this place. But again, you could have quite easily gone through the vocab grid at the previous page and put three in each box. Okay, this one matching the pictures and the words, trying to work out which place went with which word. So using the images. Ok. Bene, allora risposte numero uno, la stazione, uno C. Numero due, la posta, due E. Numero tre, apologies for the huge pause, I couldn't actually work out what picture three was for a second, but it is the bank, so it's la banca. Numero quattro, il supermercato, so quattro G. Numero cinque, la scuola, cinque D. Numero 6, il castello, 6i. Numero 7, il museo, 7a. Numero 8, il cinema, 8 i lunga. Numero 9, la piscina, 9h. E numero 10, lo stadio, numero 10 e lettera V. Ok, so hopefully you've got on ok with those tasks. Um, as I said, you can send me your marks. I'm not going to run through the answers to the um, word search. Obviously, you can find these yourself. It's not a task that really needs marking. Um, and in terms of the consolidation work, um, I haven't seen anyone send anything in yet, um, but if you would like to do so, then please send it to the MFL 
help email address at mflhelp at hewithgrange.org.uk. Um, just noticed I didn't mention these ones here, the misspelt words, so only one of them was right. The town centre is Centro, so the second word. Farm is Fattoria. The square is Piazza. The airport, they all look quite similar, but the only one that's spelt right is Aeroporto. That one there. The hotel is Albergo and a garden is Giardino. Okay, allora finito. Hope you've done okay and I will see you soon for your next video lesson. Ciao ragazzi, ciao ciao.